Hey guys, welcome back to a brand new video. So if you are passionate about skincare and see products that are effective and affordable, then this is the channel for you. So please do make sure you subscribe down below and join our little skincare family. And also please do give this video a massive thumbs up because it really does help me out. And so without further ado, let's get on to today's video. And so I hope you are all doing well and I am incredibly excited for today's video because I discovered a product that I think that you, all of you, well, absolutely love. And so last week I was, you know, just walking around Primark doing a little Christmas shopping or shopping for myself, I actually think it turned out to be. Anyway, I just stumbled upon the beauty section. So it was in Manchester and if you guys aren't familiar with Manchester or are familiar with Manchester, that Primark is absolutely ginormous. They have like a friends style cafe and a beauty salon and something else in there. It's not the biggest Primark ever, but it is pretty big. So I just stumbled upon the beauty um, sort of skincare section and I was kind of like, you know, I'll just have a little look because I can't not go into a store and not have a look at their skincare. And um, I was actually quite presently, pleasantly surprised by what I saw. So I saw this next to the Hyaluronic Acid Serum and also a Niacinamide Serum. And now this one captured my attention because, you know, Hyaluronic Acid is Hyaluronic Acid at the end of the day and Niacinamide is Niacinamide at the end of the day as well. But I was really intrigued at the retinol and sort of what the formulation would be, what the sort of type of retinol would be in there. And yeah, and I purchased it because it says £3.50, which I thought was an absolute bargain even if it wasn't working, it was still a skincare product <laughs> for £3.50. <laughs> and so yeah, with me today I have the Primox Retinol Booster Serum. So it comes in this, you know, quite minimalistically um, nice pinkish packaging, which I'm not mad at, but you know, guys can still purchase this and you don't have to feel like you're a girl to purchase this at all. So it says a 0.5% retinal complex skin smoothing retinol with sweet almond oil, organic rosehip oil and a jojoba oil and it's vegan as well. And then what it says on the side is PS Retinol which you know PS dot 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 is their beauty brand. Um, their retinol booster serum is specially formulated with an effective blend of retinol complex 0.5% and luxurious blend of sweet almond oil, organic rosehip and jojoba oils. Retinol is renowned for its excellent skin smoothing properties, ideal for targeting signs of aging. And so before I talk about the pros and cons of this product and to see if you should absolutely run to your nearest Primark now and buy it, let's talk about what's inside the formulation and you know, kind of just decipher the ingredients list. So on the back, it's got a really simple ingredients list. I'd probably say it's got 10, no more than 15 ingredient, ingredients in the list. Um, and nothing is alarming at me. There's no red flags. Uh, there's also no fragrance in there or sort of no um, essential oil derivative, like essential oil components or anything like that. So yeah, really fantastic. It's vegan, it's cruelty free. Yes, it is cruelty free and um, all around it's perfect for anyone. And so the first ingredient is got sunflower seed oil and now sunflower seed oil is being used in so like and continues to be used in so many skincare products and um, and for so many years as well so it's really great emollient of sort of moisturizing the skin and just giving the skin a really nice soft and supple feel and sunflower seed oil is really fantastic for your acne prone skin types and also your oily skin types as well because it's high in linoleic acid and also oleic acid so you know those are the oils that you sort of really need to look for in you know for your skin type anyway just to be really incredibly effective its comedogenicity rating is zero so it's not going to clog your pores and it's just going to you know be fantastic so that is the first ingredient on the ingredients list so already i'm like mm -hmm, this is going to be quite good and then the next ingredient is sweet almond oil which again is a really another fantastic moisturizing oil great for all skin types. It does have a higher comedogenicity rating than the sunflower seed oil, but honestly nothing to be alarmed of. It is high in oleic acid, however it is sort of like, it's got a medium sort of concentration level of linet, linet, oh god, can't pronounce it, linet, 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 <laughs> 
linoleic acid. Um, so again, it is still perfect for your acne prone and your oily, com like oily combination skin types. It's really great at moisturising the skin and being perfect for your dry skin types as well. And so the third ingredient is vegetable oil, which, you know, is sort of an ingredient that is mainly used for cooking, just like sunflower seed oil, but it's not as great as sunflower seed oil is. It's just, you know, one of those oils that just gives the skin a nice soft feel and moisturised feel on the skin. And then moving on after vegetable oil, you have capillate triglyceride, which is, again, sort of a really nice, soft, moisturising um, product, it doesn't have any odour, it doesn't leave that greasy feeling on the skin. You'll find that in a lot of skincare products. You then have um, your retinol palmitate, so that is really interesting because it is that 0.5% retinol complex. So in terms of how strong retinol palmitate is, is that it is kind of quite weak compared to what you can you know, get in the retinoid family. So in terms of, you know, order of retinoids, you have your all trans retinoic acid, which sits on the top. You have retinaldehyde, which is second. You have retinol, which is third. And then you have your retinol palmitate. And when I say it is the weakest out of the retinoid family, I'm basically meaning that it has to be converted, you know, three times to actually do something and to be effective for our skin. Um, so it's like how our skin cells can communicate with the retinoid to actually be effective and to give the results that we want out of this. It still does something to the skin and it will still gradually improve the signs of aging and you know wrinkles, fine lines and just to help turn over the cells a, a, you know, a lot more quicker than if you weren't using it. And even though retinol palmitate isn't you know the strongest and most fierce retinoid out there, it still you know is good to have in your skincare routine. Honestly for £3.50 I wouldn't be mad about that. I honestly would not be mad about that. And then after retinol palmitate, you have the ingredients like olive fruit oil, you have sesame seed oil, you also have a hobe seed oil and also rosehip seed oil as well. So in my opinion, the, the pros of this product is that it is an incredible nourishing oil like mix of oils like an oil complex and for £3.50 this is really just going to help nourish help moisturize and just really help soften the skin and it is absolutely perfect for all skin types because of the different different oils in there as well as you know the hobe seed oil which actually helps to regulate the sebum production so perfect perfect for oily skin types and acne prone skin types and it's just kind of adding that added benefit of that retinol palmitate in there. The cons of this is is that it is marketed as a retinol and I wouldn't rely on it to be your retinol step in your routine. I would definitely go for something more stronger or more better. However, that being said, this is a great starter product if you want to incorporate retinol and retinoids into your skincare routine. So really, really fantastic product and I think Primark have absolutely smashed out of the park with this one in terms of being a really nourishing complex of oils in a product chef's kiss. <laughs> Obviously I can't tell if it, you know, has surpassed the anti-aging claims um, because, you know, I don't really have any aging concerns and I've only been using it for a couple of weeks now. But in terms of oils and nourishment for the skin, it is absolutely fantastic. And so the first night I used this, I cleansed my face and I just applied this and then I did nothing. And I really wanted to see if this was moisturising enough and nourishing enough throughout the you know the winter night and it really really was actually I didn't wake up feeling dry or like tired or anything like that and I didn't wake up feeling greasy or you know like kind of like oh god I really need to wash my skin immediately and so the second night I applied this after cleansing my face I then waited a couple of hours and then I applied my Strata Liquid Gold Moisturiser again it played really nicely together and I was really really impressed and so yeah I would absolutely recommend this product 
for you guys even if you just want a nice oil or a nice combination of oils in one single product that aren't going to break you out that is really going to nourish the skin and it's perfect for all skin types so yeah definitely recommend this and especially recommend it if you are wanting to get into retinol and so i really do hope you've enjoyed this video and let me know if you just do decide to purchase this i'd be super super interested in what you think of it and so i will see you very very soon for a brand new video see you later guys bye bye